everyone, I am back with another card making video. And uh, this is Halloween card number four, I believe. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know which one this is. I think this is the fourth one. This is going to be a regular A2 size card. And so it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. I rounded all of my edges with this little edge punch here. And so I did all four sides. So everything is round. So there's the base of my card. And this one is going to be on a wobble again. And it's this little monster here. He's like super cute. And I put little googly eyes on top of his antennas. And I used some stickles for his teeth and his body and his feet. And he is from, I believe he's from Create a Critter 2. Um, yes, he is. He is on page 61. And he's right there. So, super cute. I think he's three inches. Yes, he was cut at three inches with all of his parts. And we are going to do the inside of the card. So for the inside, I just have this little piece of paper. Grab that stack. This came from this Four Seasons stack from the Paper Studio. And this just has um, all the seasons and holidays in it. And it's from this little section here with all this Halloween stuff. So that one right there. And I cut this to four by five and a quarter and rounded all of the edges just like I did the card. So it would all flow. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the inside. This stack, it's really thin paper. It's not cardstock thickness at all. But it has some really, really super cute prints in it. So I'm just gonna center this inside of the card, just like that. And then my mat is three and one eighth by four and one eighth. Again, all the corners are rounded. And then my index card is three by four and rounded. I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edges with this Memento grape jelly. Just all the way around. I'm using the blank side of the index card, not the one with the lines on it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the mat. Just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the inside. So I'm just going to center that. About right there. So there's the inside mat, and then next I'm going to use this Studio G Happy Halloween right here. And for those who don't know about the Studio G or the Studio 12 
um, dollar stamps that you can get at Joann's. Um, the best kind of ink to use is a pigment ink for the lesser quality stamp. It tends to stick better to the stamp and stamp more clearly. The dye inks just kind of pedal up on the stamp and you don't get a very clear um, image with it. So I'm just going to stamp this up here on the top. Just like that. So then we have Happy Halloween. So that is the inside. And now we're going to do the outside of the card. So I'm going to set my base aside. And we're going to work on layering all of this. Now this mat is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And again, I rounded all the corners the same. Everything has the rounded corners. This patterned piece is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use this little spider ribbon for this one. So I got this, where did I get this? Hobby Lobby in their little Halloween section. It's 3 8 inch ribbon. You get four feet for a dollar. And it's these, there we go, cute little spiders. So I'm gonna use a piece of that. So I'm just gonna cut this off. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the back and tape it. No bows or anything, and I'm trying to figure out, I think I'm just gonna tape it to the, uh, the pattern piece first. Okay, grab my tape. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of use it as a guide on where I wanna put my ribbon. So I don't want it to go up too far and overlap that. So I think right about there is pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to just tape it on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this side first. like that. And then I'm going to take my ATG gun and I'm just going to run a strip of tape along my ribbon so I know that it's going to stay down. And I'm actually going to line this up. So that way it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to tape this side. Even though I have that ATG tape on there, I still don't want it to come up. So there we have little spiders. Just like that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my mat. take this and put it on the front of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that.
it was like that. Then we have part of the front. So with this little guy, he's going to go on top of this. And this is just, I think this is two and two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And I rounded the corners and I used my Nestability's Lacy Squares. And I used this one right here, not the largest one, but the second to the largest one down. It doesn't have sizes on here, so this this one here. And I'm gonna ink this with the grape jelly also. this and since I'm putting my little monster on a wobble I'm not going to pop this up on any dimensionals since I have the wobble to represent that so this is just going to be attached directly to the front of the card like that. So go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna kind of center this like that. And we're gonna get our little wobbly dude. the wobble. So I'm going to peel off the thinner side of this wobble here. Uh oh, my wobble came apart. Well, I guess we're going to get a new one. That was kind of weird. All right, here is another one. Hopefully this one doesn't come apart. <laughs> seems to be just fine. That was kind of weird. All right. Let's get this little guy on here. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> that went right on. So the wobble is on his head. Um, it's too wide to try to put on his body, but because he's got, whoops, I just broke one of his antennas too. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm going to fix him by just clipping these off. So, as much as I hate to do that, but there's no way to really glue this and fix it. So he's just going to be... dude without his antennas so yeah I guess that's a good fix um, but to make them even I'm going to take some glue dots where are my glue dots right here and I'm actually going to reattach these on the back of his head behind him. See if we can get him to work like that. Let's see if we can get this to work. I really like these googly eyes on the top. I think they're really cute. They're just not gonna be as tall. shorter googly eyes for his antennas. Oops. So, 
So this is a good lesson to learn, I suppose, that he can be fixed. Haha. <laughs> They're just not as long, so works for me. Um yeah, I hated cutting those little eyes off the top. That kind of sucked. But let's go ahead and get him on the front now that he's kind of fixed. down. Whoops. And that, there we go. That glue stick on the back had stuck. Or, uh, glue dot. So, just because you rip a piece doesn't mean that you can't use it. So, I fixed my little monster dude. Pretty satisfied with that. That turned out really cute. Okay, so now I'm going to use for my sentiment I have another Studio G stamp set. This one says Eek, Scary and Creepy, and I'm using the Eek. And again, I used a pigment ink to stamp that one also. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink this with the grape jelly. And attach it to my little map. Just like that. And I'm gonna attach that right there. So I'm gonna use some little um, quarter inch foam squares. I think I'm gonna use probably six of them just to make sure that it's not going to pop off. So just like that. Peel the backs off. stick it right here give it a good push make sure those little squares are gonna stick and there we have a little wobbly monster on another Halloween card so there's the little monster card Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment or message me and I will get back to you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.